It's a major milestone for the Indian Space Research Organization. The agency launched the PSLV C-20 in collaboration with France. The countdown to the launch was filled with anticipation and anxiety, but once the satellite launch vehicle lifted off from Sri Harikota, the sky literally was the limit. Five, four, four, three, a historic four, landmark for one, India's RCT. space program. Lift off, normal. Speed one tracking. ISRO finally launched its 101st space mission. The successful launch of PSLV C-20, sending seven satellites into orbit from the coastal town of Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. President Pranab Mukherjee was present at the Satish Dhawan Space Center during the momentous occasion. I congratulate the Indian Space Research Organization for successfully executing this mission. I am confident that the shuttle spacecraft launched today would function as planned and perform as designed and serve the intended applications of ocean topography, coastal altimetry, ocean currents monitoring, and animal migration studies all over the world. The path-breaking launch saw the 407 kg Indo-French satellite Saral being placed into orbit along with six more satellites. The Canadian Space Agency made Near-Earth Object Space Surveillance Satellite or NEOSAT. The Sapphire satellite built by McDonald, Detweiler and Associates from Canada and two Austrian satellites, Bright and Unibright. The British satellite Strand 1, the world's first smartphone satellite carrying Google Nexus 1 phone running on Android operating system. And the Orsat, built and operated by students from the Aalborg University in Denmark. The ISRO today witnessed yet another successful launch with PSLV taking off from Sri Harikota. And the real big challenge for India's premier space agency would be the upcoming GSLV launch and the much talked about mission to Mars, which will be launched later this year. At Sri Harikota with camera person Manish Tanani, Shabir Ahmed for Times Now.